Shanghai Greenland Shenhua Football Club simplified Chinese, Shanghai Lu De Shenhua Zhu Chu Ju Le Bu traditional Chinese, Shanghai Lu De Shenhua Zhu Chu Ju Le Bu pinyin, Shanghai Lu De Shenhua Zhu Chu Ju Le Bu, is a professional Chinese football club that participates in the Chinese Super League under license from the Chinese Football Association CFA. The term Shen Hua literally translates as the flower of Shanghai. In English, Shen is one of the alternative names of Shanghai and Hua means flower in Chinese. The team is based in Kangqiao, Shanghai and their home stadium is the Hongku Football Stadium, which has a seating capacity of 33,060. Their majority shareholder is Chinese developer Greenland Group who took over the operation of the club when they bought the 28.5% share from previous majority shareholder Zhu Jun in 2014. The club's predecessor was called Shanghai FC and they predominantly played in the top tier, where they won several domestic league and cup titles. On 10 December 1993 the club was reorganized to become a completely professional football club so they could play in the 1994 Chinese GRA League season making them one of the founding members of the first fully professional top-tier league in China. Since then, they have won the 1995 league title along with the 1998 and 2017 Chinese FA Cup. According to Forbes, Shenhua are the sixth most valuable football team in China, with a team value of $106 million, and an estimated revenue of $29 million in 2015. History Early club Shanghai Shenhua's predecessor was originally called East China, a team name used as far back as 1910 for the football in the multi-sport event Chinese National Games. The local Shanghai government sports body decided to use this name for their new club founded on 1 November 1951 to take part in China's first fully nationalized National Football League tournament where they finished second in the league that year. The Football League gradually expanded and the team were allowed to name themselves after their own province of Shanghai in 1957. Soon afterwards by 1961, Shanghai started to establish themselves as a major football team within China when they won their first league title. This was then quickly followed by their second league title in 1962, however in 1966 because of the Chinese Cultural Revolution, football in China was halted and Shanghai were unable to play. When football returned in China, Shanghai were able to return to the top tier, however they were unable to regain any of the dominance that they had previously shown and were even relegated in 1980. Though they were able to be quickly promoted in the following season, they spent many years without actually winning any titles until Wang Hujun led them to win the Chinese FA Cup in 1991, which was their first trophy in 29 years. Topic professionalism Throughout the 1990s, the Chinese Football Association were demanding more professionalism from their football teams and while many were semi-professional, Shanghai would be one of the first when they gathered sponsorship from Yu Jifei and the local company named Shenhua on 10 December 1993, founding Shanghai Shenhua. This then saw Shanghai hire their first professional manager in Zhu Zhenbao, who was the previous China national team manager in 1994. The move would quickly see Shanghai win the second professional football league title by the end of the 1995 league season. When Zhu left, Shanghai attempted to bring in several foreign coaches to add more experience to the team, however few achieved any success despite being close on several occasions, except for Murasi Ramelio's brief spell when the club won the 1998 Chinese FA Cup. By the end of 2001, the Shenhua Group ended the sponsorship of the club and were replaced with SVA and the Shanghai Media and Entertainment Group. The club changed its name to Shanghai Shenhua SVA Smeg Football Club. The team however remained unique as it still retains Shenhua in its name, whereas many other teams dropped the name of their former sponsors completely. 
On the pitch, the club would take over Shanghai Cable 02, a youth football team set up by Zhu Zhenbao while also bringing in a new manager in Wu Jinggui, who built a new squad predominantly using many from the Shanghai Cable squad and despite struggling in his debut season, he was able to win the league title in 2003. Critics would dispute the legitimacy of the title win after it was discovered in 2011 that the referee Lu Jun was bribed by the head of the CFA's referee arrangements, Zhang Jianchang, to be biased towards Shenhua in a vital match against Shanghai International in a game that Shenhua won 4-1. Lu Jun and Zhang Jianchang were both officially charged with match-fixing, while Shenhua's general manager Lu Shifang was discovered to be the person who orchestrated the bribes. Initially despite this indiscretion, the club was spared any disciplinary action. The reason provided by the CFA at the time for the leniency was that they would be punishing the individuals who put the game in disrepute and not the club, because Lu Shifang was Shenhua's offending participant and had left the club several years before the allegations were confirmed, it would have been harsh to punish the club retrospectively. On 18 February 2013 the CFA would decide to change its mind on Shenhua and retrospectively decided to punish the club by revoking its 2003 league title, fining the club with 1 million yuan and giving a six-point deduction at the beginning of the 2013 Chinese Super League season after it was discovered that they also fixed another game against Shaanxi Guli en route to winning the 2003 league title. Zhu Jun era In 2007, the owner of inner city rival of Shanghai United, Zhu Jun and his company The Nine Limited bought a majority share of Shanghai Shenhua and began to merge Shanghai United into Shanghai Shenhua. His first act was to replace the previously successful existing head coach Wu Jinggui with Shanghai United's Osvaldo Gomenez. The appointment was to prove highly disruptive and Wu Jinggui was quickly brought back as the head coach after only a few months, but was sacked on 9 September 2008. Jia Shuquan took over his position on the same day. This was followed by the club adding to their backroom staff when on 1 January 2009 Shenhua made Chinese football history by becoming the first Chinese team to hire a foreign CEO and a technical director when on 1 January 2009, the club hired former manager Osvaldo Jimenez as their chief executive officer. One day later, former PSV Eindhoven technical director Stan Valkex joined Shenhua in the same position. After a disappointing 2011 season in the Chinese Super League, Zhu Jun decided to bring in a marquee player, so on 12 December 2011 it was confirmed that Chelsea striker Nicholas Anelka will be arriving in Shanghai in January 2012, while six days later it was announced that his compatriot Jean Tigana would be the head coach from the 2012 season. Tigana was fired after a poor string of results and was replaced by former Argentina national team coach Sergio Batista to lead the team. After a successful season playing for Chelsea and winning the 2011-12 UEFA Champions League, Ivorian striker Didier Drogba signed a two-and-a-half-year deal with Shenhua. This was soon followed by the signing of Colombian international footballer Giovanni Marino from Argentinian club Racing Club. These signings were intended to boost the club's title challenge and see Zhu Jun's investment within the club reach 150 million yuan, which he believed gave him a controlling stake of 70% as promised by the other shareholders. When the other shareholders decided not to agree upon this arrangement Zhu Jun decided to pull his funding of the club, which resulted in the team finishing in a disappointing ninth and both Anelka and Drogba leaving the club. The relationship between Zhu Jun and the other shareholders became even more fractious at the beginning of the 2013 league season when the Chinese FA issued the club with a six-point deduction for match fixing ten years prior and a fine of 1 million yuan. This would lead to a shareholder dispute between the other shareholders SVA, Shanghai Media Group, Shanghai Electric Group and Huang Pusasac on who should pay for this fine, which saw a gap in the club finances that saw Rolando Schiavi, Patricio Taranzo and Giovanni Marino refuse to play the 31 March 2013 league game against Liaoning Huan because of unpaid wages. Greenland 
The Zhujun era ended on 31 January 2014 when the club was purchased by Greenland Holding Group Company Limited. On 6 February 2014, Greenland Holding Group Company Limited announced that the club's official name would be changed to Shanghai Greenland FC, Shanghai Greenland Shenhua Team, and it was hoped that by retaining Shenhua within the official team name it would appease the fans by reflecting on the club's heritage. This did not work and when subsequent badge alterations, which eliminated Shenhua from the team's logo it drew significant criticism by many of the club's supporters who publicly voiced their dissatisfaction with this on 9 March 2014 during the league game against Shanghai Shenxin as they saw belittling Shenhua from the club's name as a besmirch on the team's heritage and history. On 18 July 2014 the club bowed down to pressure from the club's supporters when they officially released a new team badge, which brought Shenhua back into the team logo and subsequently changed the club's name to Shanghai Greenland Shenhua Football Club. On 3 February 2015, three days after the Australian national football team won the AFC Asian Cup, Tim Cahill announced he had been signed by the Shenhua, moving from the New York Red Bulls despite only signing a one-year contract extension in November 2015. Tim Cahill announced on his Instagram on 16 February 2016 that his contract had been terminated by incoming coach, Gregorio Manzano. No reason was given for his termination beyond I'm not part of the new coach Manzano's plans for the 2016 season. Topic: Rivalries. Shenhua's fiercest and oldest rivalry is against Beijing Guoan and is often referred to as the China Derby. The rivalry with Beijing is viewed as a manifestation of the rivalry that exists between the cities on which is the most important towards the country, as one is the center of government while the other is the financial center of modern commerce within China. With each club being able to claim to having an extensive history spanning successful periods, direct competition for silverware, however rarely coincided until the 1997 league season. With Shenhua having won the 1995 league title and Beijing having won the 1996 Chinese FA Cup both teams looked as if they had the pedigree to win silverware that season and on 20 July 1997 in a vital league game, Beijing thrashed Shenhua 9-1 at the Workers' Stadium in Beijing. It would be Beijing's largest victory and Shenhua's greatest defeat ever recorded. Soon after that event both teams would meet again in the 1997 FA Cup final, which saw Beijing win the cup. When professionalism was established in 1994 within the Chinese leagues it opened the door for more than one team within each city. This eventually paved the way for the first ever Chinese top-flight city derby, which took place in 2002 when Shanghai Shenhua lost 2-0 to Shanghai Junyuan later renamed Inter in front of a sold-out Hongku football stadium. Known as the Shanghai Derby it would be the start of an intense but short rivalry between the two clubs, which reached its peak on the final day of the 2003 league season with both teams able to win the league title. Shenhua won their game while Inter surprisingly lost theirs to relegation fighting club Tianjin Kangshifu. This saw critics dispute the title win and it was eventually discovered that both teams had players and officials match fix games throughout the campaign. Shenhua would retrospectively lose their title while the Inter owners decided it was financially unviable to remain in Shanghai and relocated their team to Xi'an, which effectively ended the rivalry, with Inter Shanghai leaving the city Shenhua experienced another one of these Shanghai derbies when Shanghai United were promoted in the 2006 league season. The rivalry between the two teams never reached the same intensity as what was experienced against Inter because United had only recently relocated to the city and were building their fan base. Any development of a rivalry was ultimately cut short when Zhu Jun took over both teams and merged them together with Shenhua keeping their name. In 2012 Shanghai Shenxin moved to the city revitalizing the derby, however it was the promotion of Shanghai SIPG in 2013 that caught to fans' imagination because they were formed by Zhu Zhenbao who had previously managed Shenhua. 
The club's geographical location has also opened them up to rivalries with neighboring clubs Hangzhou Greentown and Jiangsu Suning where they contest in a fixture called the Yangtze Delta Derby. Topic: <laughs> Current squad. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> First team squad. As of the 28th of February 2019 note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Topic: Reserve squad. As of the 1st of March 2019, Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Topic. Out on loan Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Topic. Coaching staff As of 28 February 2019 Topic. Managerial history Managers who have coached the club and team since Shanghai Shenhua became a professional club back in 1993. Topic Honours All time honours list including semi professional Shanghai period. Topic First team Domestic title Chinese GRA League, Chinese Super League winners 3, 1961, 1962, 1995, 2003 Chinese FA Cup winners 4, 1956, 1991, 1998, 2017 Chinese FA Super Cup winners 3, 1995, 1998, 2001 International titles are 3 Champions Cup winners 1, 2007. Topic. Reserve team National Reserve League winners 1, 2004 Topic. Youth Academy National Youth League U19 winners 1, 2014 National Youth League U17 winners 1, 2018 National Youth League Champions Cup U17 winners 1, 2018 Topic Results All-time league rankings as of the 11th of November 2018, no league games in 1959, 1966 to 72, 1975. Shanghai did not compete for position because they were hosts in 1965. 1974 only played in group stage before touring Africa. Carrot one in the group stage. Squared in final group stage. Cubed in the Southern League. Carrot 4, title revoked due to match fixing Carrot 5, deducted 6 points. Key.